One of the most asked questions that I've been getting over the past few months is, where's Bella? I miss seeing Bella in the vlogs. And it's actually crazy how many messages I get of this same question. And Bella's been a massive part of my vlogs. So just seeing her drop off like that, just randomly, you deserve to know what's going on. I assume you already know by now, we broke up. And like I, this video is not a negative thing at all. Like I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers that just stands talking to the camera about we broke up, this happened, that happened, and all this. Because at the end of the day, there's absolutely zero negativity between me and Bella. We're still best friends. Like I don't talk to her, I don't hang out with her or anything anymore, but I still consider her to be one of my best friends and that won't ever change. Rather than making just a classic breakup video, I'm a filmmaker. I like to tell stories, so. This is the story of me and Bella. Oh, oh my god! My girlfriend's a freak! So I ended up meeting Bella doing photography at a 16th birthday party. I know, 16, that's how young Bella was. I was 19 and it wasn't just any 16th birthday party. It was a dress up 16th birthday party. So everyone was around just wearing these funky ass outfits and I was just, I was just wearing normal stuff. I know pretty much everyone around here because I go to so many parties, taking photos. Like I get paid to go out and take photos. Obviously I'm gonna know a lot of people. I was with my mate Nick and I was like, who is that girl over there? And he's like, oh, that's Bella Fraser. And I'm just like, I've never seen this girl before. She's, she's good looking. So I went up to her and her friends and I asked if they wanted a photo and they said yes. So I took the photo and then Bella said to me, thanks Hayden. So she already knew me, she knew my name and I was like, she knows me. So I was like, you know what, stuff it. So I gave my camera to my mate and I was like, dude, watch this, take a photo of this. And so <laughs> I went up to her and just without saying a word, I just kissed her. <laughs> no words exchanged at all. I just kissed her, he took a photo and then we just parted our separate ways. We didn't even talk for the rest of the night. Just typical party stuff, I know. Then I ended up seeing her out at other parties and then every time I saw her, I kind of just started talking to her and eventually got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ask this girl on a date. So that's what I did. I hung out with her, I asked her out on more dates and then the more I hung out with her, I was just like, damn, this girl's actually, She's actually really cool. Fast forward a few months, she ended up flying over to Canada to do this exchange thing for like two or so months or something. And it just so happened to be that our family had planned a trip to go over to Canada, actually Whistler, be there at the same time as she was. So I was like, that's perfect. What a quinky dink. I ended up flying over and meeting her in Canada and we went up to Whistler and we stayed there for nine whole days. And man, that was so much fun. We did so many cool things. We went skiing. We had this amazing helicopter ride, which I'll literally never forget. Just spending those nine days with Bella, I just realized I this girl is so cool. I think that... I think that I love this girl. <laughs> and so then New Year's happens, the fireworks went off, really good time, and then we went back to the hotel thing that we were staying at. And I was like, you know what? How romantic would it be to ask her out just after New Year's? <laughs> so that's what I did. I was like, do you wanna be my girlfriend? And then what do you know? She said yes. And then after that point, we did so many things. We made so many amazing memories that I'll never forget. the seventh today and I told Bella that I'm coming home on the 10th. Are you excited for me to come home? <laughs> yes, I am very excited. Hello? And <laughs> 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 uh, all four of you traveling? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she's a child. <laughs> More donuts. They look too good to be true. So happy. <laughs> Only problem is having a spa here. Once you get out, it feels like it's negative a million degrees. Then it came to the start of 2018 where Adam, Bella, 
myself and a few other friends and the rest of my family ended up going over to America. And we went to Breckenridge, Colorado, where we go skiing, snowboarding, just having more good memories kind of thing. So we ended up doing that, but I ended up planning on staying for another three months while Bella and Adam and everyone else went back to Australia because me and my brother wanted to do a snowboard instructing course. And when it came to actually saying goodbye, man, I was such a little bitch. Like <laughs> a few weeks went by and I didn't realize how tough it was gonna be on our relationship. You wouldn't know what it's like unless if you've actually been in it, that's the thing. Definitely takes a certain kind of person, well, two certain kind of peep kinds, yeah. <laughs> two certain kinds of people to be able to handle a long distance relationship. But at the same time, look, I'm a baby. Bella's a baby. I'm 21 years old. Bella only just turned 18 at the time. We were both so young. We are still so young. And this was my first ever like proper relationship with a girl. And I had no idea what I was doing. And I feel like Bella, <laughs> Bella had no idea what she was doing either. We both didn't. And then eventually at the time where I was finishing up being there, I flew back and things just, Things weren't the same because of the way that we handled the long distance relationship. We both tried to kind of keep it together, but it just, it didn't end up working out. So we both just decided it was best to break up. But we ended up breaking up back in April. Like this was a while ago. And that's why I haven't made this video because I didn't really know how to tell you guys. And I, it was so fresh at the time. Like I didn't really want to talk to you guys about it, but I'm at the point now where I can definitely talk about it and it's all good. Now the breakup wasn't bad at all. Like the, the thing is, and uh, the hardest part about being in a small country town is the fact that everyone knows each other, which is a good thing in a way, but it's also a bad thing because as soon as something like a breakup happens, everyone ends up knowing about it. Rumors get spread around, things get blown out of proportion. A lot of people don't have anything else to talk about. They don't really have anything else going on in their lives. They end up making up rumors and just talking shit, really. I feel sorry for them because at the end of the day, it's only me and Bella who really know what happened. Things finished on a really good note and that's how I wanted it to be. But if you're going through a breakup or something similar like that, just know that at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason and everything will work out the way it's supposed to. And as weird as this might sound, I'm happy that we broke up. Like it's definitely a good thing that we broke up because I had no idea what I was doing back in that relationship. And now that I've gone through all of that stuff, the amount of lessons that I've learnt and the amount of things that I've done in order to grow as a person is just like, you can only learn that stuff by going through the really hard times. I'm still the same person, but I'm a completely changed person for the better, if that makes sense. I just wanna end this on a positive note. Like, you never know what the future's gonna hold. I have no idea what's gonna happen in the next few years. I pass my cross again, like who knows what's gonna happen, but Either way, Bella is still one of my best friends. I still would take a bullet for her any day. I love her more than anything and I always will. Bella, I know you're watching this right now and I just wanna wish you luck in everything you do and yeah, that's pretty much it.